Are you struggling with a deep-seated issue that you're just putting off because it's like just facing that issue is just more than what you can even handle? Watch this video. I'm going to give you some extra motivation for actually facing it, even though it's going to be the hardest thing that you've ever done in your life. So as a kid, my mom was kind of reclusive and we didn't really go out and do too much socializing. And it was always, you know, nervous for me to have to face other people. And uh, I just put it off in my life. You know, even into my adulthood, for example, I'd go to the gym or something like that. And then when class would end, you know, everybody else would stick around and talk to each other. But I would always leave early because it was too nerve wracking for me to be in the unstructured environment. The class was fine. But then when I had to just kind of freely go about and talk to people, I just couldn't do it. So I just kept leaving, kept leaving early, kept putting it off. So you can imagine what the social implications of this was for my dating life. So it wasn't until my 30s when I really started turning things around. I was watching videos on YouTube about how to get confidence. And I chose jobs at work that were social that forced me to face this issue because I wasn't going to do it any other way. And then after I got a divorce and I started dating again, I decided, you know what, now, you know, I've got enough skin in the game to actually face this problem because if I don't face it the right way, I'm going to be without companionship for the rest of my life. So date by date, I started to get 1% better every single time. I started to think about how the date went. You know, if something went wrong, what, what did I do wrong? What could I have done better the next time? And I would go back to my house at the end of the night, think about what to do better the next time. You know, and then with the next girl I went out with, I would try not to do that dumb thing again. And by forcing myself to wade upstream, which is what this felt like, right? 30 years of neuro programming that says I'm not socially acceptable, that I can't be the cool guy or I can't be the guy that attractive girls want to go out with. Like that was hard, but I forced myself to do it day by day by day in my mid thirties because having not done that, I would have ended up empty handed. And this is the point of this video. When you choose to work on your problems, especially like your most deep-seated problems, right? The ones that you put off forever. When you choose to work on those, what you don't realize in the moment, you think that you're just fixing your problems for yourself. What you don't realize in the moment is that you're actually fixing them so that way you can help other people with that later. After I met my uh, 10 out of 10 wife and I became a dating coach, I realized like this whole journey, like getting the result that I wanted, like finding my wife, it was super awesome. You know, it was a product of this journey that I went on. And only I, who've been on this journey, was now qualified to turn around and help other people with the same problems. So do it for yourself in the beginning. But eventually, you're going to be doing much greater work in this world than just in your own space.